Alright, so welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new. And let's get straight into today's video because in today's video we have a big announcement. As you've probably seen by the thumbnail, uh, the devs are going to be adding a new Sea King to the game and everyone's going to be able to vote on that new Sea King. So in this video we're going to be covering how you can vote for that new Sea King. What are the three options? Because there are three options and there are... And there is a fourth option where you guys can suggest your own seeking. Um, so we're going to be covering that. And we're going to be covering the full details on what the new seeking will actually do in the game. Because if you've played the Dragon Ball Z version or the Naruto version of the game like I have, they've already had the new seeking in the game for months, ages. It's already been in the game ages. As I said this multiple times in some of my videos, One Piece is so far behind. So we're going to be going over the full details of what the new Sea King will do in the game in this video as well. Alright, so the first thing is, how can you actually vote for the new Sea King? Well, if you go over to their Facebook page, uh, they'll have a post on voting for the new Sea King in the game. And these three are the three options of the new seeking obviously the fourth option you guys can comment on the post i'll give a link to the facebook post in the description box below it'll be at the very top nice and easy for you guys you guys will obviously need a facebook account because you will need to react to one of the three seekings that you want in the game or you need to comment um one that you would like to see in the game if you don't want any of these three now i believe this one is laboon i'm not sure what this one is it's been a very long time since I've watched One Piece. I only watched the new episodes and that's it. I believe this is from the Vegapunk arc, The Smiles or something. I actually can't even remember where this one's from. So I can't remember where these two are from. This one's Laboon. Obviously, this is the one that I'm going to vote for, most likely. I just love Laboon in the anime. He's absolutely amazing. So cool. And he grows up and the story behind his character is absolutely amazing. You guys can obviously suggest one yourself. The voting will end on the 8th of January. So in three days. So you guys have three days to vote for what you guys want in the game. Now, let's go over the full details of what this Sea King will actually do in the game. Because you guys are probably wondering what the new Sea King will do in the game. So let's quickly go over that right now on the Naruto version of the game. Alright, so this is just a screenshot of the Six Tails, which is the newest Sea King, which is what the new Sea King will be on One Piece, if you understand what I'm getting at, on the Naruto version of the game. So this is what the new Sea King will do in the game. Obviously, this is four or five stars. Um, the problem with this Sea King, or Tail Beast on the Naruto, is that you need about two to three stars in my opinion you need three stars for it to be viable actually good to run um because one and two stars feels very weak i do have this one on my account as well so i have played with this sea king before but it feels like zunisha where you need at least three stars for it to actually be good but you really really want the high four five stars because that's where it becomes uh really really good so three stars is what you need minimum in my opinion, but you really want four or five stars for it to be, you know, insanely strong. So let's just go over the five star one. It's very similar to four star and three star, uh, obviously much stronger. So it deals 60% tower beast damage to all enemies. So it's AOE. So it's an AOE attack. Obviously not the highest damage. However, it corrupts all enemies, adds a weakening effect to the enemy. So that's every single enemy. Reduces the attack targets. Attack, defense, damage bonus, and damage reduction by 20% for two turns. That's insane. AoE weakening is insane. And then it grants one character with randomized one chance to revive. So one character on your team will get one revive, basically. Uh, which can only trigger once per battle. Also, inherit 100% of HP and 100% of Rage. So that character, when they die, they'll revive. They'll get 100% HP and 100% Rage. So that they can ult. Uh, and then it increases the attack of all ally characters by 30% and damage resistance rate by 30% for one turn. Yeah, this Sea King is going to be insanely good. 
It does so much. AoE weakening, revive. That full heals and grants 100% rage. And all your allies deal more damage. And damage resistance rate to tank more. It's insane. Uh, everyone's going to spend money on this thing king 100%. I can tell you that right now because it's absolutely insanely good. I'm not going to say it's broken because... This game has so many bugs that it could just be bugged. Like the revive could be bugged. Might not even work. Uh, the weakening might not even work. This third part might not even work. Like you never know with this game. Whenever a new character comes out or an update for the game... You never know. Something could be bugged. Like I said in my tier list video, Law has been bugged for 3 to 4 months. Monkey D Dragon has been perma bugged since release. So I'm not going to say it's broken. I'm just going to say it's a very, very, very strong seeking uh, that you should be looking forward to when it comes out. Um, but yeah, that's the full details on the seeking. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the rundown of how you can vote for the new seeking. And the full details of the new Sea King and what it's going to do in the game. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.